Hello everyone. So this is a special episode and you may be asking yourself, Baron, are you playing Kerbal Space Program? Well, yes, yes I am playing Kerbal Space Program, but this is a highlight reel from Hambone and not myself. And you may be asking yourself, well, Baron, why is this Hambone playing and not you? This is on your channel after all. Or, in some cases, it's on Hambone's. Well, it's quite simple. Hambone's good at this game, and I suck. I've tried to get into orbit probably 50 times, and I've only been able to do it once. So, it looks like... So, I'm basically giving you a commentary. I haven't watched this before, to kind of give it a... A unique kind of commentary on what is happening right now. Well, it looks like Hambone is trying to get on the moon because he's shrinking his uh yeah that little that little blue line. It's getting really close to the moon. See, I I have all the scientific terminology down, so I can let you know what's going on because I know the science behind it. So now he's fast forwarding. Oh my gosh, it's going really fast. And he is getting close to the moon, but it's not intersecting with the moon. Maybe he's going to do another maneuver? Moon periapsis. Yeah, it's not the moon, it's the moon or mune. Sometimes it has that little double dot over the U. See, just like scientific terminology, I also am very fluent oh god hold on a second what just happened we just got a view of oh the pod and we got canvas kelbus and elrod and kelbus is losing his shit right now canvas doesn't really seem to give a crap and neither do, oh elrod's a little concerned right now but kelbus is like i don't know where to go right now I believe that's probably how these little kerbals, kerbals, is that what you call them? That's probably how they talk. Alright, everyone is concerned. It seems Hambone knows what he's doing and is control this aircraft, but yeah, Kelbus is losing it right now. He is not enjoying himself, but you think with all of his training that he would be more than prepared to deal with a moon landing. So it looks like looking at this pod, you obviously have the capsule on the top is where the three pilots are, or Kerbonauts rather. They're not pilots, they're not simple pilots like Baron and Hambone are in War Thunder. No, we have Kerbonauts. Not astronauts, not cosmonauts, Kerbonauts. And as you can tell, they are very composed and on top of things. Canvas is starting to enjoy himself. So, Mr. Bandicam is blocking the uh, height, but it looks like there's about 7,000 meters till lunar surface. And, uh, Kelvis is still freaking out. Elrod's freaking out, and Canvas is just enjoying it. And it looks like on the left here, we have a simple booster that is relatively low on liquid fuel. I'm wondering if this thing will be able to make it back to Kerbal, aka Earth, for the Kerbals. <laughs> I have no idea what to call these guys. Kerbals and Kerbonites and Kryptonite, you know, who knows. There are six parachutes on this thing though. I think I think Hammond went a little overboard in making sure this thing would be able to land. All right, so he's still got a he's dropping at a rate of about 40 meters per second and rising rapidly. So he's going to have to do something about that. And I can't read the the top. I'm guessing it's 4000 something meters. Yeah, we just dropped into 3000 meters. All right. So he's getting close to the lunar surface. He dropped his little landing strut things. He's firing his rockets. 
Canvas is still just like a little kid in a candy store, whatever these Kerbals eat. Everyone else is just chill, no expression whatsoever. Kellis finally has been able to control his craziness. Uh, Hambone's realizing he's going to have to cut back on his drop. Oh man, he's running out of fuel. I'm wondering if this thing's going to make it back to Kerbal. So, are we going to make it? Is this is this going to be a fail? Or is this like a successful landing? I mean, it looks like everything's pretty well under control right now. He'll just have to burn a little bit of fuel to uh, to land to keep. I'm, I'd, I'd imagine that you would want your drop to be less than 23 meters a second. So maybe he's just kind of guiding and going to do a big burst. I don't know. I, I feel like you'd want to be below 10 meters a second, but I'm no rocket scientist. Oh god, I'm nervous. Oh, okay, he's raising it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Wow. Man, I could not do that. And we have... Oh! Oh, we almost had... Oh no. There goes all the, all the return fuel. <laughs> I think he should have used RCS function right there. Yeah, and you may be like, Baron, what is wrong with your voice, man? Well, it is but the common cold that has afflicted me so. All right, now we gotta try it again round two. See, this is what's weird. Look at their little Kerbinauts. Kerbinauts, whatever. They're all like, happy right now. It's like, yeah, we failed the first time, but we're happy now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh, it's so close. Uh, yeah. Just a guess. <laughs> but chances are that, um, this little lunar, mooner, excuse me, mooner landing probe oh, is not going to make it back to Kerbal. Or Kerbin. I forget which one it is. Oh no! Use the RCS! See, I think it's because he's landing on a slope. But hey, landing on the moon is freaking impressive as far as I'm concerned. <gasps> Cold! Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hambone has landed his Kerbinauts on the moon in Kerbal Space Program, which is a pretty awesome game, you know? But remember, ladies and gentlemen, it is rocket scientist stuff. You're gonna fail. Throttle is raised, ready for liftoff in T minus five, four. Oh, oh, it works. And we're not spinning out of control. Oh, oh, oh no, we have a, we have a serious problem. All right, we got to save Jebediah. We detach. Oh no, we forgot to turn off the rocket. This is terrible. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. We ran out of fuel. All right, so, wait. Oh shoot, we are falling fast. 